so welcome back to another video my friends and in this video we'll be taking a look at something uh, about the favicon of our website now uh, if you have a website and your favicon is uh, set okay so you have your favicon right so like this on github so what we have is i have a dark mode right over here but for instance if i switch to the light mode you can see this favicon this light favicon so this can actually this will be light right and the background will also be light so this favicon will not be able to see this favicon after so what github has done is that they have used i mean they have they are dynamically changing the favicon so let's take a look at an example so i have my settings open here and if i change my theme to light uh, from light uh, from dark to light mode and you'll notice that the favicon actually gets dark and that is what i'm talking about so when you switch to light theme the favicon will get dark and if you switch to the dark theme the favicon will get to light so and it will work the same even if you do it with your browser settings so if i switch to light the favicon will become dark and if I switch to dark or whatever your system's theme is, then it will switch to light. This is what we're going to create now in this video. Okay, we are not going to create the whole GitHub, right? We're just going to create that favicon. So what I have is nothing much. So I'm just going to create an index.html file and that's it. So inside of this file, let's start working on it. So first of all, let's just generate the HTML which should be like this so I'm just gonna add a I'm just gonna add a title of dark mode favicon change you can have it whatever you want and then let's just right click and open with live server so that is gonna do that So here we have our application running. We won't have anything on our web page, but we will have something right here. So first of all, we are going to get that favicon. Now I have a blog post written on my blog, which you can check out. I'll leave the link in the description. Now in here, I have given two SVGs, the light one and the dark one. So what you can do is you can just copy this SVG the light one first of all so let's just create a new light dot svg and let's paste that in and let's close this let's go back and let's copy the dark svg and then let's create a dark dot svg file and let's paste that in so we have both of our favicons ready now so that was what i'm i was talking about and now let's get to uh, the real work so let's set the favicon and we can set the favicon very simply by using the link colon favicon so we can just use link colon favicon here we go and we are using emmet by the way so here is our favicon link tag so i can just set the href now you can set any kind of file ico or svg so by default we are going to set it to light.svg and the reason to that is because when some browsers don't have that kind of support with their inbuilt uh, kind of thing then we're just going to set it to light.svg because that's what it is all about right so now by default it is going to be light so as you can see this is what it is right now so this is for the light one if i switch to the light theme let's just switch to the light theme and this is how it looks like this looks better on light theme right now let's back, uh, get back to the system default or let's not mess with the system as i told you if we change the system theme or if we change the browser theme it's all the same right so let's just hop into light theme right now so this is how it looks on the light theme and now what we want to do is dynamically change this href okay so what i'm going to do is add an id to this href and i'm going to give it an id of favicon tag you can give it any id you want right so that automatically formats us for us 
and now we're not going to put any content inside of body but we are going to create script tags so script so we are going to write our javascript here so first of all we're gonna get that favicon tag okay so we can get that by using document.get element by id so i can just say const favicon tag is equal to document dot get element by id and this one is going to be favicon tag okay this is our constants and then we can also initialize now this is where the exciting part comes in you will check if the user if the user has a system scheme color scheme of dark okay that's what we're going to check so you can check that by using const is dark and you can name it you can name your variable whatever you want and then we can just say a window on the window object we have the match media and then you have to pass in the media query inside of it so we have a media query that is called prefers color scheme uh, if you don't know about media queries they are just like you know if you have see if you have the knowledge of css and media queries uh, if you don't know about media queries don't worry this is just an uh, just understand it with your first media query so you can pass in a media query and that is prefers dash color dash scheme and then colon and then dark okay so what we're checking here that does the user have the dark mode so if it has the dark mode then we will have a matches property on this is dark which will be true and else it will be false so let me just show you by simply console.log is dark dot matches so we have the matches property here is dark dot matches and let's go back and let's inspect in the console i know it's light theme <laughs> okay so we have false right now and why do we have false we have our system color set to dark but still in the settings we have set it to light if i switch this to dark and then if i refresh the page you'll see that uh now it shows us true and the console is also light because we also need to reopen it okay so it is true and the reason to that is because we changed our color scheme to dark so let's switch that to system default so that we don't need to go on to this page again and again so whatever is the system scheme that's what will be our theme right here okay so if i refresh you'll see we have false again so the matches property is what we want to check so let's switch back to dark and let's go here okay so what we can do is now we can create a function so const favicon or change favicon and that will be an arrow function that's what i like you can create a normal function if you want and then i can check if the is dark dot matches so if is dark ha uh, and the matches property in it has the true value so if it is true then we are just going to say favicon tag dot href so we are just going to change the href and let's change this to dark dot svg and let's do the same thing but with else so else we are just going to favicon tag dot href let's set this to oops light dot svg save that and now we have created this function but we are not calling it so let's just call it real quick change favicon ta -da. and now you'll notice that if i go back to our browser as you can see the, the this favicon has changed this is now kind of purplish moon and if I change my color scheme from dark to light, you'll notice it still says this. Uh, it still stays the same. But if I refresh, you'll notice that it changes. So now let's talk about what we can do in that case. So we can. There are two ways around that. So we can create a set interval, and then we can call this function around an interval that we want okay that's what i have mentioned on my blog post if you take a look i have created a set interval and then i have called the same function uh, every second so you can do that but in 
the comments uh, Christopher actually told me that this is uh, this also can be a way out so is dark dot add event listener so whenever it changes we can run a function so let's try this out so what I can do is I can call it at first but I can also call it is dark dot add event listener and then I can add a change event listener and then I can add the change favicon function right here so now let's take a look at that so right now it is the uh, for the light one and if I switch to dark so it changed and as you can see that actually worked and also he mentioned about Safari so this is for Safari so let's just copy this and the add listener and then we can pass in the function that we are using so change favicon or we can maybe use any one of them so let's just comment this out and let's see if the the one with safari actually works so let's just change this to light let's go back and that actually works so you can use any one of those actually add listener is kind of uh, maybe it is deprecated i'm not sure but it's good to use this one right over here so this small script tag is helpful for you to change that and let me know in the comments below how was it you can read the blog post if you want uh, and then leave a comment right there you can hit a like and you can share this video to many people uh, like I mean diamond dynamic favicon is a very great thing right in today's time we need it with the dark mode so I hope you like this video please share it subscribe my channel and finally thanks for watching